Hi, it's Don. Today's post is titled, Dry versus Wet. Every year, right around the clock ticking from 11.59 p.m. to 12 o'clock a.m. on December 31st, many people undertake something that I consider futile, the dreaded New Year's resolution. For some reason this year, there was much more said about going dry for January. Not one to smash a dream or goal of anyone, I still look at those resolutions much in the same way I feel about bucket lists. They are the goals that one wishes to achieve with little hope of doing so, or whose effect is likely fleeting. To keep things focused, I'll deal only with New Year's resolutions, and even more centralized, that of going dry. Having had the opportunity to go dry last year around the middle of the year, I found out to be a more of a happenstance than a planned event. Surprised to find myself not having a drink over the course of seven days. As I wrote back then, some physiological changes took place. Better sleep was the most prominent. Since this was unplanned and not meant to be anything that would transcend into either a long-term commitment or a cessation of drinking altogether, I went back to imbibing. As you might guess, the benefits obtained were quickly washed or drunk away. It's that last part that concerns me. Sure, swearing off drinking for a month will have some benefits, mostly short term. That's where I have an issue. So you stop drinking, give your liver a rest, get some well-deserved sleep, and then you reprise your drinking habits. I'm never claiming to be a doctor or medical specialist of any kind. What I have read is that once you start drinking again, your body will return to the state it was in before your month-long hiatus, or close to it. Should you be looking at this new agenda as a means to slow down or eventually cease drinking, well, that's a different story, but not likely what folks have in mind when making their resolutions. Doing a deeper dive into this from a medical point of view, I was once again confronted by studies, don't get me started, rather than empirical scientific evidence. That said, while an attempt to go dry for a period of time may, in fact, bring about positive changes, or such attempts catapult your self-esteem by accomplishing your goal, then by all means, carry on. Just know that any results may be short-lived. Me, other than the accident of going dry for a week, I'm not going to make such precarious attempts. After all, I've got a lot of wine left to drink, both in the cellar and that I have yet to meet. Cheers.